Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Panning Binaural Sounds with Lily. Today's installment is more of my favorite sounds. These are buckyballs. Buckyballs are tiny magnetic balls that I think were temporarily banned in America because a child swallowed them and needed serious surgery. I think because they tried to connect to one another in different parts of his intestine to get gruesome. I have used these in a couple role plays now. And I haven't used them very long in those role plays. But I found that when I did use them, I really liked the sounds they made. They are also in exceedingly fun to play with. They um, are a great desk, desk toy. I'm not trying to sell them or anything, I just really enjoy them. <laughs> there we go, they're just really fun. I kind of want to turn them into a cube. That's how they come, is in a cube shape. use them one time in the grab it here in IUI. That was buckyballs. Like I stuck um, buckyballs on the ear and then I threw one single buckyball to attach to the ear. Oh no, my line. I think I've also used them in a facial or a surgery role play as well. sounds that they can make. There's this crunchy, crunchy sound that they can do. Just individually do. I want to see what I'm doing. I really love playing with these. When they were about to be banned in the US. You know, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if they actually were. The Buckyballs website claimed it was going to be banned and then had a huge sale, so I might have just gone suckered into buying them. Still worth it. I love magnet toys. I'm going to give you a beautiful ear decoration. Oh, so lovely. one on this side too. Then we're going to add to these ear decorations one by one. I intend to use today. I have a lot of favorite triggers. Okay, chill out there. One right there. One right there. We'll do one in the back here. There. 
actually really cool. The way that this is shaping against the magnets. It's really cool. You guys can't see it, but trust me, it's cool. This one is looking so freaking red. Oh, I messed it up. It's not cool anymore. It looks lame now. Okay. I'm taking them back. No more air decorations for you. the sound of that. It almost sounds, when I do that, it sounds like rain dripping on the gutters. This box came with a pocket I purchased because last year for Halloween, my son made me prouder than he's ever made me before. He came up to me and said, Mom, I want to be tuxedo mask for Halloween. And I was like, what? Did Sailor Moon suddenly become popular again when I wasn't looking? But I think it was some kind of weird inside joke with his friends, but I was so happy. So I bought him Probably the most I've ever spent on Halloween to give him the coolest, most authentic tuxedo mask costume. Including this crappy pocket watch. I mean, I spent the most I ever have within reason. I'm still a cheapo. Okay. This also has a lovely sound.
a little loud though. I wish my floor wasn't so stinking creaky. I feel like it's kind of spoiling the, the sounds video. Imagine autumn is coming and the rain is starting, the leaves are turning colors. to commend other ASM artists that do this kind of thing though because my apps like I've recorded two of these videos in a row because I'm gonna go um, out to the country this weekend so this is a pre-recorded thing my apps hurt so bad right now from like hunching over the, the ears like this and holding up these things granted I also did yoga this morning Bravo, ASM artists that do this more frequently than me. Because when I go off camera like I normally do for role plays, I can just be like, slouch. <laughs> you know, I don't have to keep up appearances. Okay, let us move on. I only need to one commenter to tell me how much they love these needle nose pliers for me to be like, hell yeah, I'll bring them back. I love these needle nose pliers, not just because they're an amazing tool, but the sound is like tweezers on steroids. so much damage to these ears. Yeah. They're not doing great. 
I wonder how different the new 3DS sound compared to the old ones. I wonder if I'd get virtually the same sound if I got a new new pair. bringing these guys back. I know I keep promising the robot repair will play. I swear it's coming. I just, I really want to figure out how to do backgrounds. Like, I don't want every single roleplay to have the same two backgrounds that I do. And I was thinking about trying to record it in my garage, but that means that my parents would need to move their car. And it's just a whole to do. It's part of the reason I haven't done one of the other role plays I really want to do is it really it really needs a different background. I feel like this is not science fiction dystopian enough, which is what I'm gonna be going for with the robot role play. I wish I could figure out green screens, man. They always look so bad in my hair. Like anybody that's good with this kind of thing. Why my hair is so fuzzy, and because it's so fuzzy, green screens don't work with it. So what do I do? Do I have to slick back my hair? Do I have to... What am I doing wrong? That's okay if you guys don't respond to me. I'm hoping you're asleep. freaking love the way spoolies sound like inside the ear. So I'm wondering if they're any good outside. Your tragus. See, I remember names of ear parts. I don't remember any other ones, just the tragus. I'm always really impressed with the ASM artists that like actually learn the medical lingo. I'm I don't have room for that stuff in my head. Okay, you can hear 
here just a little bit. I'm just going to go all the way around your ear. Just like that. We're just going to shine this baby. you imagine if I paid a crow to be an actor? I guess I kind of do. Part of the reason they're around is because 